Doug, we, uh, both teams were great defensively today uh, and then just battled as hard as they could. I thought we did an uh, unbelievable job down seven to get back in the lead. We made four turnovers after that, and uh, you know that's not something we've done this year. Uh, we've been good in that department. Uh, we just made four really bad turnovers, and you can't keep giving away those possessions. Uh, I don't know what we were doing, what we were thinking. Uh, we turned out over three times on the out of bounds, and we got the one point lead. We got the ball and ran and put it into the guy. I mean, you just you just can't make those mistakes in these kind of games. Uh, it's a tournament type game. You battle that hard. We obviously didn't shoot well. Neither team did really, but we really didn't shoot well the whole game um, and haven't shot the goal well. But in spite of that, we gave ourselves a chance to, to win the basketball game with, with a tremendous effort. But you cannot make those kind of turnovers in end game situations. And it's not something we've really done this year. But we did it today, and sometimes when you lose a couple of games, maybe you start thinking about it a little bit, and you make some bad plays that, that you're you're trying too hard a little bit. But uh, nonetheless, that's that was what happened today. And you know, we have uh, two games left, and what we really need to do is focus on those two games, uh, work on what we need to try to get a little bit better. Um, execution. We've lost three straight games to zone defenses, so I, I would imagine we're going to see more of that. And uh, you know, it's it is it's it's always tough to beat zones when you don't make shots. We had good shots the first half; they were all all good shots, and uh, you know we didn't make them. And the second half, we we got James a couple, knocked a couple down, uh, but. Uh, you know, we're not making many shots from the perimeter. And uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to win against zone defenses in those situations. And in the last two games, we've given ourselves a chance to win in spite of it. Uh, questions? Jim, how do you think uh, Brandon struggled today and really has been the last I don't know. I really don't. I, I have no explanation for it. but. You know, we're, he's our guy. He's, we're going to go with him, and uh, I think the trading deadline has passed. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, what's your problem to Gordon Day? He's a really good player. We got inside a few times, and he changed the shot. And you know, you know CJ he had a chance to go up two there, and he, he maybe walked over there. I don't know. Couldn't see it very well. But uh, yeah, he's a, a tremendous player. He's a good passer. He's really improved. Really, really good player. Jim, is it a sign of a team that's struggling when you give yourself a chance to win and get something that hasn't been a problem, like turnovers? I don't know what it is, Mike. I don't know the answer to that. I can't tell you. It could be um, trying, you know, hard. Brandon, if anything, you know, he tries too hard to get something done, you know, which he doesn't play as well. He doesn't play well when he tries hard. You know, I mean, we're not going to win when he's two for 11 and seven turnovers. I mean, we need him to be better. You know, he's a four-year player, and uh, he's a good player. He's a very good player. And, you know, he can have an occasional game, but, you know, Siva was 0 for 9 today. So, I mean, you know, you can have a bad game, but, you know, he didn't see the turn over. You, know, turn over. you can't miss shots and turn it over. That's not a good time. They made a couple bad defensive plays as well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's trying. He's trying. And we've won 22 games with him, and we're going to try to win a couple more here. we got a, we got a good team. I like our team. I think we, we have a chance to be a good tournament team, and we just have to, you know, we'd like to get some more out of the center position. We tried day one a little bit. He just... Defensively, he he's, he struggles defensively. He probably be better offensively, but you know, he hasn't played in six weeks. You lose. It's tough when you don't play in five six weeks to go out there and play and get your timing. And he's a freshman, and he doesn't have any productivity to look back on. 
he can't look back and say, well, I did this or this. He, he didn't do this or this. So we're going with the two guys to give us the best chance defensively because we should have enough offense with the, the way the other guys are playing. So, you know, that's, that's what we're thinking. That's what we're doing. You know, that's what we're proceeding on that assumption. You said a second ago you like this team. Is mm -hmm. that something you need, that you've reminded them of as well? We talk about it. You know, I mean, uh, uh, like I love Brandon Trips. You just, you know, we can't have him play this way. You know, it doesn't mean I don't love him. I do. I think he's a great kid. I think he works hard. I think he does everything you want a kid to do. He, he's, uh, you know, trying to graduate. He works his tail off. He's a good teammate. He wants to win. But, you know, I don't like the way he's playing right now. I don't like the way we're playing. But I think Mike's trying. He's, he's he just he struggled all year shooting. We need him to take some shots. You know, he shouldn't have taken the last that three. He hasn't made anything. He should have driven and tried to do something else. But he's trying to get us back in the game. And, uh, it wasn't the right play. But we, weren't, we didn't have a lot of options at that point either. He got an open shot. But, but, you know, I, I just, you know, CJ's doing everything he can do. James is playing good. Jeremy, I mean, you know, we need to get something offensively. The thing that bothers me about our centers, they're, they're in position to get rebounds that they don't get. They get a rebound, miss a layup. I mean, it's, layups aren't that hard. This is college basketball. I mean, you got to be able to make a layup. you got to be able to catch the ball and put the basket without caught it. You don't, we don't need a lot. You know, the last game we got 10 rebounds out of. We got something. We need to get 8 or 10 points and 8 or 10 rebounds out of those guys. I mean, the reason we hung in there in this game is Mike in the first half went back and granted and Mike got 8 rebounds. They ended up with 11 rebounds. We're just not rebounding the ball in the center position like we need to. And, uh, that's really what we need. And if you rebound in there offensively, Gardner got 12 points on offensive rebounds in our game at Marquette. We got none. And we have to get some of that if we're going to be an effective team. And the thing that's really discouraging in his own defense, they're not even looking. They don't even know where those where our center is. They have they don't even he could be sitting in a chair. They don't know. They're just focused on CJ and our guards getting there. They're focused on those guys. And we've got to be able to get some rebounds in that situation and, and put backs. And we're not, not getting that. That's something we have to do if we're going to be a good team at the end of the year. And, uh, you know, we need Mike and Brandon to play the way they're capable. And we'll be fine. How frustrating is it for you to still not get that consistent production from the centers at this point in the season? You know, it's almost uh, now it's something you just have to live with because it's been there. It's, we played 29 games. <laughs> I don't think that's going to get much better. They work hard every day in practice. They do everything you could ask them to do in terms of their work ethic and what they're trying and what they want to do. They just they have not been able to be productive. I wish they wanted to have been with us for six weeks. Maybe by now we were hopeful that he would get there, but you can't miss that much time and then just start playing. It's, it's, dang, it's just not something you can do. It's not, not something he's going to be able to do. But I like, I like what we can be. You know, we've lost to three ranked teams. We haven't, we haven't played very good, we haven't shot very good, and we could have won two or three. So we have to look. If we were getting beat by 15 or 20 points, I'd be really, I'd be really worried. I'd be really worried and upset. But we're right there. We have to mentally get through this, this streak. Louisville lost three games this year in a row. 
I don't know the numbers exactly, so I'm not going to say it, but I know all the teams in the top ten virtually have lost two in a row, and I think some of them have lost three in a row. Um, so I, I, I really think that we, we've, we're, we've proven we're a good team. We've got to get through this and get to the next game and, and, and play better. Well, I play better. We have opportunities in the regular season to play better, and that's what we're going to focus on. Um, in this league, you're a game or so out of second place, and you're a game out of ninth or tenth place, depending on which way you go. We have the toughest league schedule of anybody, and we have to fight through that. We've got two top teams in this league, Georgetown Louisville, twice. We have none of the bottom five teams twice. The next two best teams in our league are Marquette and Pittsburgh, and we had to go to those two places. So it's, it's, it always happens in an imbalanced schedule. You're going to get somebody's going to get a tougher road, and we've got a tough road. And our other two games, Villanova is right there, and Providence is had a pretty good year as well. Those are the other two teams we've had to play twice. So that's something you have to overcome. We haven't done it as good a job of overcoming it as I would like. But I think Louisville's a tremendous team. We beat them down there. We were right here, and they beat us. That's, that's pretty good. But, uh, you know, we need to go out and have a couple good days of practice and mentally get ourselves where we need to be uh, to play Wednesday. Think about that.